It is I, Radical Ryan Hunter, for another week here on the Radical Retro Channel. There is a lot of Star Wars from the 90s here, but before we get into, and it's surrounding me right now, before we get into this, let's go into the more random items that seem to be out of place possibly amongst these Star Wars Power of the Force action figures. First up is a Justice League Aquaman. I'm not sure the story of this. I believe there was an alternative version of this Aquaman at the time. And this is from Kenner 1996. had a story. I just don't remember what. I feel like there was something about it being alternative to the one that was in the store, or this is the one in the store, or he had a beard, or he had a shorter beard. But at one point, this might have been something they had. A personal favorite of mine is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, as well as Angel, played by David Boreanaz. This is the original Buffy action figures that had come out before they made them more, I would say, uh, adorable and flexible uh, figures. These Buffy collections, don't be surprised to find an arm missing, hanging off in the box. Uh, the first four that they actually did were Buffy, Angel, Willow, and the Master. There's Angel up there. Now I have the four of these out of the package, but somewhere along the lines, I got another angel because he does hold a special place in this nerd's heart. Random. Flash Gordon cartoon from 1996. This is one of the action figures. General Lynch. I am a huge Flash Gordon fan of the 80s movie, uh, the original serials with Buster Crab. I really didn't get to see this Flash Gordon cartoon, but uh, this is one of the characters from there, General Lynch. Playmates. The collection all seemed to have them come with these like roller skating boards, what they call a Oh, rock and roll and air sled. In the 90s, can I tell you what dominated action figures, adult collectors at the time? Spawn figures, I have so many. This is Total Chaos. It was from uh, Todd McFarlane's toy line. Here is a Tiffany, worse for the wear. Tiffany was, I believe, the alternative to, was it Angela was the other angel um, spawn? I honestly, don't remember. 1996 and 1996 for this total chaos rotating launch. What is this? Hoof! Hoof! Total chaos 1996. Really loved Spawn figures back in the day. I wasn't like a huge comic Spawn fan. I didn't read the comics, but I knew of Spawn the movie, of course, the, the HBO show cartoon. And my cousin was a huge uh, Spawn and Todd McFarlane fan. So I ended up just collecting a lot of them. Let's do Marvel together and then we'll dive into these Power of the Force figures. So Marvel wise, I can't tell you how much the original X-Men action figures hold nostalgia for me. Oh my God, this, oh my God. If anyone remembers my danger room from a few weeks ago, that was from the same time Toy Biz. I want to say what year do we got here? Toy Biz, 1991. There's the original group of the X-Men. These, this packaging, it's just a, such a trip for me to see. Now, I have this because my older brother, Michael, had bought an extra one of these back in the day because I believe, does any other toy collector remember this story that this was responsible, these firing rockets for evidently uh, firing in a child's eye, possibly? 
and then that these might have been recalled. I don't know if that's an urban legend, but my brother Michael bought it in case. I, of course, had this as a kid and opened it. But a few years ago, he had this in his collection and he just gave it to me because he's not a toy collector. He just came across it. And here he is. For me, again, it's all the packaging. This is my childhood right here with X-Men. Now, the Invisible Woman from Fantastic Four. Does anyone remember how? how hard it was to find an Invisible Woman figure back in the 90s. Now, they had in the Fantastic Four cartoon, which I want to say 94, 95 was this toy. And I was so into that, but you could not find the Invisible Woman for so many, from this, so for so many years, I was looking for this at KB's. And I remember, my mother coming home one day and surprising me with this one uh, from KB's and it was on sale. It's even better. She had remembered I was looking for the Invisible Woman and there she was. Oh my God, these packagings. I wish they were in better condition, of course, as I say with all of my collection. And this is an Invisible Woman from the cartoon. Toy Biz as well. My Super NES, evidently, uh, Star Wars, Super Star Wars game was in this box as well. Uh, so that's a random basement moment for you. I actually bought this used at Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Video. Wow, what a difference. Does that make it extra retro and cool because it came from Blockbuster? You know, when you're this old. So another hard to find item, and it always seems to be the female characters, of course, was Princess Leia from the Power of the Force collection. Rumors have it that this was, was hard to get because Carrie Fisher was not happy with the face sculpt. And honestly, I do not blame her. Now, again, I don't know if this is an urban legend, but this has been circulating since the 90s. When I was a kid collecting these, the face is not really that great. I believe um, it is affectionately known as Monkey Leia, I want to say. Princess Leia, what an iconic character. And I, oh God, I love Carrie Fisher. And I'm so sad that, that she is no longer with us. But here is Princess Leia from the Power of the Forts collection. Another Boba Fett. I believe I had another Boba Fett in the package in an earlier episode. So here's another Boba. And this one has the full circle on the arm. In that episode, I believe I said there's something with the full circle, half circle. Some of them had half, some of them had full. C-3PO from that line. And you know what? Let's just throw in an R2-D2 with a cut top. There they are. Oh, man. Now, did I have another Lando as well a few episodes ago? Because evidently it was something with Lando. This is Toy Works. And this is KB. Looks like they had similar similar pricing, but also similar fonts used on their uh, tickets over there. A Lando, a Luke Skywalker in fighter pilot gear, X-Wing. Leave the Shadow and the Empire was between the green cards. And here is a Luke Skywalker in Imperial Guard disguise from 1996. This droid was from, I believe, the special edition. He was added in. I always thought he was cool, really cool looking. Oh, Admiral Akbar. It is a trap, but never for him. I love this guy. I've loved him since I was a kid. Thing about Akbar that I, I've always loved. Jawas. Can we actually get their eyes to light up through the packaging? Light up for us? Ooh, you see that? <laughs> Ooh, those eyes. Hoth, Rebel Soldier. Also from, wow, this is a Kmart, and that was $4.99 at the time. All these dead stores. It's Leia Organa in ja as Jabba's prisoner, or slave Leia, Leia as it is also termed. 
This I had gotten an extra one because, again, every female action figure, which I feel like happens till today. Look for a Tila in a store for a Masters of the Universe Origins. Look for an Evil Lynn. A she -Ra? Forget about it. <laughs> They're always so hard to get. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of It Came From The Basement. Radical Ones, I can't thank you enough, as I said earlier. For anyone new here, if you'd like what you see, please like, subscribe, and comment, you know. I I'll, I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you again for everything, and we will catch you next time on It Came From The Basement.